Hey, it's Lexi, and you're watching Gospel Goodies TV. Hey, this is Janice Gaines, and you're watching Gospel Goodies TV. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. This is Gospel Goodies. I've hosted the Motown Ask at Breakfast before, so we always have a good time. Uh, it's just too early. It's too early in the morning. Nobody wants to do it, but everybody wants to eat. So I think that's why people are here. It's not so much that we're so great. It's just because they're hungry. And so, you know, supply and demand. Give them what they want. <laughs> it's cool, man. You know, when, you're, when, you, when your peers and when your audience says, hey man, this is worth recognizing, that always feels good. Uh, been coming here for some years now and it had this be my first one. Just, I don't know, it feels good. That's the best thing I can say, it feels good. Oh my gosh, I'm honored. Like this is a dream come, I wouldn't say a dream come true, but it's like, it's sticking me like, I'm about to, is this real, is this real? I gotta pitch myself, is this real? So it's a blessing, it's a blessing. My favorite part has, it was um, last night. Uh, the experience that I got the opportunity to experience on last night by uh, tributing um, my uncle Donald Lawrence, it was amazing, it was amazing. And of course, you know, I was kind of like, okay, I'm a nervous wreck because he, like I said, he's perfect. And um, you know, you don't want to make any mistakes doing anything like that, so it was great. It is a wonderful thing. You know, of course, in marriage, sometimes creatively, it can be a bit difficult or here or there, but not really. Uh, when you have great talent coming together uh, and different things like that, and there's love in a relationship, it truly kind of works out. I've always seen myself using my voice. I didn't know all of what God had planned for me. I still think there's more to come. Uh, and I'm grateful for what, where he's brought me. Cafeteria boy, cooling out, and who would have who would have thought that that clip that my cafeteria worker posted would have went viral, like almost in a week. My uh, single has already dropped. It's at radio, and you can also purchase it. Um, but it is called Going, Christina Bell Going, and my album is coming out this year as well. So um, it's doing really great at uh, radio. My single is. It's doing really great at radio. So make sure that you go and get it um, if you need any information. I'm sorry. I'm going before myself, but I'm going to say it anyway. But if you need any information about me, just go to Christina, uh, officialchristina.com, and everything is on there. My single is out, uh, Praises Go Up by Janine White. It's doing very well. It hit radio in April of last year, and it's still in rotation. The album is coming soon. We basically completed everything. I'm super duper excited about it. Um, hopefully, it'll be something that the people can enjoy and worship to and praise God to and shout and dance to. So yes, and this man right here, Jason White, my husband produced it and helped me arrange it and I thank God, I thank God he just put his touch on it and uh, we think it's going to bless the people. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be good. Great church and cut. Um, that's really good. Great church and cut that's really going to bless the people. And, uh, as we just well as worship. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Lead Me is my new project out now and it's named after the title song Lead Me. Um, it's a collection of hymns and some original songs on there as well and it was just birthed out of a very very hard season dealing with postpartum depression and not knowing what to call it and so in that season I had to kind of reset musically in order to move forward I had to go back um, to where I met the Lord and that's with hymns and it's just been an amazing experience to kind of revisit that place and teach it to my son and so that's pretty much where it came from just looking around and feeling like I'm drowning where do I go now and it always comes back to the Lord and so the hymns lead me there hymns like how great thou art and what a friend we have in Jesus oh my gosh just yeah rich rich you know it it was more of having to just share what I was doing as opposed to thinking it through I'm gonna do this this and this because I I really couldn't do the industry thing I really was only able to use it for what I needed it for and like the Bible says comfort others with the comfort that you've been comforted with it's kind of like it just kind of flowed out naturally and so I think it's gonna be um, the best thing I've done yet even just because it flowed from such an authentically honest place and yeah there's somebody out there and if you're listening and you're struggling with postpartum please know that we are praying for you get a good community and focus on the disciplines of what it means 
to be a believer, studying the word and worshiping and um, praying. And I promise you the fruit of that will come to the surface. There's nothing harder than uh, transitioning out of a rough moment. There's nothing harder than that. Uh, whether it's the loss of a job, a loss of a friend, a loss of a relationship, uh, a loss of a loved one, it's hard. And what I do is I get up every day, ask God for strength every day, get my behind out of the house every day. You gotta get up, you gotta get out, gotta get moving. Do something good for yourself that's gonna give you those natural endorphins. So I go work out. Working out and the gym time is my time. It's my time by myself. I, I, got, I got a killer playlist and I go in there and I work it out and I sweat and that makes me feel good on so many levels and God gave that to me to help me and uplift me. So I don't know what your thing is, but I know it starts by not staying in the bed and not dwelling on it. You know, so get up and get out and God will meet you there.